Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. Unfortunately, today is not going to be a build guide or even a rather positive video. It's kind of going to be a rather negative video of me just kind of explaining to you guys what's been going on in my life and why I've been super upset and edgy of well lately. Um, so first off, if you're not interested in that, just feel free to tune away. I do apologize ahead of time. I didn't really want to make a video like this, but I feel like the best way for me to check myself as a person is to release a YouTube video about what's currently wrong in my life and then rewatching it later on in life and realizing that it's really not that big of a deal. But anyway, on to the video. So um, first off, I want to pick a specific date and talk about that date. So last month of the 28th, uh, which was what month was that? We're in June. What's before June? I forgot. Is it June, July? No, 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 no. It's May. Okay, so May 28th, this game called Bless Online came out. Um, you know, feel free to insert your memes wherever you'd like about Bless and, and whatever. There's just some gameplay on the right hand, or on the, on the screen for you guys as well, so maybe, you know, you can get excited watching Blade Vortex. So anyway, when Bless Online was about to release, you know, the night before, I got the game, um, like, sort of preloaded and everything was ready, right? And I woke up in the morning to having some PC issues. Couldn't really figure out what was going on in my PC. You know, this is a brand new PC. Spent about $2,000 on it a few months ago. Custom built, you know. It's got a 1080 Ti. It's set. Can run pretty much everything. But for some reason, I was having issues just doing basic functions on my computer. Turned out that my cat, there was uh, water that was on top of my desk. I like his little water dish. It was up there because we have, you know, huskies roaming around and... Um, we needed to like elevate his stuff away from them so he could like have his own little spot and it's just temporary It was for like an hour or two, right? Well, he, I guess he got scared or something happened my cat drinks water in a really weird way So the water trickled from the back of my desk down on top of the PC Which on top of the PC there's like this thing that you can like pull off that collects all the dust it set it like seeped through there into the top fans which spun the water, which got all around the PC, all over it. Turned out that it got inside the 1080 Ti, so we had to pull out the 1080 Ti. My girlfriend helped me with this, thankfully, because I'm not really too good on computers. Um, f we could tell it was the 1080 Ti that wasn't working because one, um, there was a red light that was like kind of blinking on it, and when I tried to boot the computer up, it just would not boot up. That was a little scary, right? Ended up resorting to my 970, so I took out the 970 card, uh, she put the 970 card in, computer was up and running, then the second I got on, oh, then I had to, you know, reinstall all the drivers and everything, meanwhile, I should be streaming Bless Day 1, kind of salty if you're a streamer and you're trying to stream Day 1 and, like, you can't even stream the game, so that's kind of like a, you know, a big thing with, with streaming, so anyway, um, moving on to that. The second I would get the game running onto the server list, I was having display issues. I don't even know it ended up fixing that. Uh, anytime I would boot up Bless and I would see the server list, it took about 22 attempts. Um, so what would happen is the servers would pop up for a quarter of a second. Monitor would, 1 would disconnect. Monitor 2 would disconnect. Monitor 3 is not even connected. You can see, you know, monitor 1 is right here. Monitor 2 is right over here. Monitor 3 is LOL, JK. Um, and then I would have to literally just restart my computer. There's nothing I could do. Couldn't pull up task manager. Couldn't reconnect the ports. Couldn't, you know, couldn't switch it. I tried plugging in the motherboard. Literally nothing worked. Um, so I'd have to restart the computer. So this error was something really unique, and the only way I could see if it was fixed is by seeing if my computer got fucked again. Anyway, fast forward, let's skip all of Bless, right? Skip through, it's it's all done. But one of the things I did before, um, before switching back my 1080 Ti after it cooled down is I installed Windows Update drivers or you know the Windows Update stuff on the 28th because I was like, this is clearly a display issue. Maybe there's something happening with Windows. Biggest fucking mistake of my entire existence. If anyone has Windows 10, I'm sure some of you guys love it. I wish I could take back everything with Windows 10. It has literally brought nothing but despair, corruption, and depression into my life. I'm not even like exaggerating. I'm, I'm, I'm literally not. <laughs> um, so uh, anyway, let's, you know, fast forward. Bless Online was kind of a failure. You know, a lot of things happened. This video is not about Bless. Came back to Path of Exile for the new league, right? Well, when I tried playing on the new league, number one, first thing happened. Uh, I can't use my new webcam. I don't know if you guys were following anything that's happening. Even if you look at this current webcam, it's not in a proper resolution. My 
my new webcam is right here. That's a Logitech C922. This is a Logitech C920 that I'm using. The only, the main difference is like the blue light and the, and the like whitish light. Uh, with my webcam enabled, my display rate, like th this FPS that you see on the screen right now, everything you would see would be 10 FPS, completely unwatchable. Um, tried, you know, I went through the drivers, uh, tried doing all the stuff, Logitech gaming software, tried virtually every single setting on my webcam, nothing, doesn't work. So disabled the webcam, water can't even get into it before you guys say anything. It has nothing to do with the USB port, right? Water probably doesn't have anything to do with any of this. So then I was like, all right, that's okay. Um, you know, we'll try something else. So I got the, I got this current webcam up and running. It's all right. On top of that, something else happened. I am 100% unable to play Path of Exile in windowed full screen because I like playing games at, you know, 100 plus FPS, specifically in the range of 100 to 144. It's part of the reason why I have a 144 hertz monitor. Because my TV that I play on is 60 FPS, Windows is locking it together, right? Now, before you guys tell me one of 7,412 fixes for this, I have done every single one of them, I promise you. I went on Google, I did the first three pages of Google search on it, I've talked to two separate friends, I have went through, let me just explain exactly what's happening. I have no lag on my end, my FPS could be 6,400 while playing Path of Exile, but it doesn't matter because it's locked at 60 in windowed. If I have a display running on my OBS, meaning, you know, I show like a display, like I can see a preview, it causes the lag. If I have a window that's opened on my entire screen or covering more than 40% with a player running like YouTube, it will also cause that lag to happen. So here are the things that I've done to try to go around and fix this, along with the webcam issue that we were happening or having. Uh, I went in, I first off, I downloaded DDU. Uh, DDU is a program used to like basically uh, clean, like uninstall all of the drivers you had from before for your graphics card. So I did that, uninstalled all of that, uninstalled NVIDIA GeForce, got rid of everything, reinstalled the 1080 Ti, reinstalled the 1080 Ti drivers, didn't fix anything. Went through my OBS just to make sure there was nothing fucked with it. Literally, again, played around with so many different settings, played around with my old default settings, played around with the new settings, even tried using Streamlabs OBS, didn't, didn't matter. Nothing fixed it. No, I'm not going to use XSplit. Uh, I did some more stuff. I made sure Windows wasn't fucking it up, which I'm pretty sure it still is, but you know, I have that Windows game DVR shit completely disabled. The Xbox thing that pops up, we removed that when I built my computer at the beginning. It went into the, the command prompt. I don't know what it is. It completely wiped all of it. I can't even access like the app store from here because it's all gone. So it can't be any of that stuff. Um, after realizing that that shit kind of sucks, uh, I learned that I learned that I'm just going to play in full screen or, you know, I'll go and play in windowed full screen, but I'll disable my preview. I don't really like that because I can't really see what's happening on my own stream. But if I can just get Path of Exile running to show you guys some content, then I'll go ahead and do it. So I started doing that. Then something else happened. The display lag that was occurring from the webcam all of a sudden was happening in the game without even anything happening. It was just happening not, like by itself, which doesn't make any sense because again, I have no issues with FPS on my screen whatsoever. Um, this literally happened yesterday when the Path of Exile servers went down randomly. They went down, you know, came back up and my stream just shit itself 100%. Again, no drop frames on my side, uh, no internet issues on my side, nothing ping related, it is just display issues. Um, so I ended up ending the stream there, reconfigured a bunch of different things, tried to get some stuff fixed. The only thing I've noticed to work, which I don't really like doing, is streaming on in the encoding preset. If I switch to NVENC or NV whatever it's called, which basically streams from your graphics card, I believe, instead of your CPU, it seems to fix it. The thing is, is that I'm not having CPU issues. When I'm streaming, I don't go past 45, 50% CPU, unless like something crazy is happening in, in PoE, but I don't have any errors or like none of that stuff happens and I don't get any lag in game. So I'm not really sure why that is the case and where that's happening. Something else that was very puzzling as well is that um, I didn't have any of these issues like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, none, nothing. It was, it was all totally fine for the most part. Uh, so that's kind of infuriating. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to vent to you guys a little bit of what's been going on in my life. I'm really frustrated right now. I have pretty much no motivation to play Path of Exile. I don't know if you guys know this with me or not. I'm sure it's pretty obvious. I've been playing Path of Exile for about five years. And 
there are some days where I don't want to play it and there are some days where I really want to play it. There are some days I'm really excited to play a build and there are other days when I'm really not excited to play a build. And, you know, part of the reason why I'm playing Solo Cell Found now and stuff is because I want to get that motivation to play the game back. I'm not completely burnt out of the game or else I literally wouldn't be playing it. But the thing is, is that with all of these fucking errors and issues that keep happening, it doesn't make the game any more fun at all. Like, it just makes it ten times worse, right? Like, why would I play Path of Exile when I could just play any other game in the world, have absolutely no issues, have everything crystal clear, and I just... It doesn't make any sense. Um, anyway... To recap on, on a little bit of other stuff, I tried dating back my Windows drivers as well. The problem is if I date back my Windows drivers, I even went through to see everything that was installed on the 28th. When I dated back the drivers, um, my computer got fucked up because of Windows and completely uninstalled all the sound drivers. So I had to basically put them back on. Uh, I'm not really making this video to ask for a fix or anything. I know you guys are gonna try to anyway because you're amazing and you're awesome. Um, but. I'm just letting you guys know that I'm not really sure what content I'm going to be streaming in the near future. I was really looking for a break with all this bullshit when Bless came out. Unfortunately, Bless just added more bullshit to my list. Um, so I, I may go back to variety streaming for a little bit. And again, it has nothing to do with me disliking Path of Exile or any of this stuff. It's that if I'm going to get frustrated and I can't even have fun, there's, I mean, what the fuck is the point of playing video games for a living? Like, let's be real, right? It's, streaming isn't about being stressed and this and that. It's about just having fun. And it hasn't been that the past couple weeks for me, unfortunately. Uh, I also feel really bad because, to give you guys a little backstory, I moved in with my girlfriend maybe a month and a half ago. Uh, you know, I got her to, I told her, like, you know, we got to be on a proper, like, I have to have at least a certain amount of upload and download or else it's not going to work. We changed everything over. Uh, you know, everything was set. And if you guys followed then, the uh, basically fuck you frontier fucked up and we didn't have internet for a week. So I was a week without internet completely, couldn't do shit. And then by the time I came back, Bless came out and I've been having issues for literally now the whole time. So it's almost been like a month where I feel like I haven't even been able to stream properly. Uh, so it just feels like really, really bad on my part. So I don't really know. Um, I'm trying to think of games that I had a lot of fun in before. And the first game that honestly pops into my head is Warframe. I don't know if I'm going to be playing it. I just want you guys to know I really am missing playing MMOs. It's been a long time since I've played one. And I I don't know. I, I really just say might just say fuck it and just move on to some MMOs. Because I've never really had too much optimization issues with them. Um, but I mean, who knows? It's really whatever my OBS allows me to do at this point. Um, yep, anyway, so something else I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to have to put down another maybe like four to six hundred dollars and get two more monitors that are 144 hertz because I don't think there is any fix in the world for the issue I'm having anymore unless I can somehow like delete Windows 10 and then just go back to Windows 7, which I know you can do all that stuff, but remember, I'm not a big computer savvy tech. I, I don't know how to do all this shit, right? I just want to play video games. That's all I want to do, man. I just want to go back to playing video games. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just kind of needed to rant a little bit. I apologize for the unprofessional video like all of my content, but it was really important for me to get this off my chest and apologize um, because it just... I kind of kind of want my life back, you know, I kind of want to go back to the blessed life I was having and you know the, the shitty part about all this is like my real life is doing great, you know um, My girlfriend and I are doing awesome. We currently have like two huskies two kittens mini K and a ferret um, Everything is going great on that like there's not a single thing that's going wrong But my work life which is really important to me is suffering not because of my real life but because of just stupid random bullshit inconveniences Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Uh, I hope you guys are doing better than me. Hope you guys are having a wonderful time. I hope I can go back to entertaining you guys properly and providing the content that you guys deserve. Um, but that's pretty much about it, so I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I hope to be putting a real smile back on my face very soon. Take care, everybody.